Yo, what's going on, y'all? So I want to make a video on how to get OP in the DLC early. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get every Skadu tree fragment you can get before fighting a major boss. And I'm also going to show you an OP weapon and OP armor that you can get in the DLC before the first major boss. And the weapon and armor I'm going to be showing y'all, you can carry it through the rest of the DLC. Actually, I made a tutorial on how to beat the final boss. And 50 plus people said it helped them beat the boss quickly. And um, they use that weapon, so it's it's a really OP weapon. But anyways, I'm on a fresh account here. Beat everything in the base game. Haven't even aired the DLC once, so here we go. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you all how to get every Skadu Tree Fragment you can get before ever fighting the Lion or Rolana. And I'm going to be showing you where, that, where to get that OP armor and where to get that OP weapon. So here we go, loading into Shadow of the Erd Tree. Okay, let's get on our horse. Now, right off the bat, we're going to need to go get the map piece so we can see what we're doing. Let's go ahead and roll in there and get that. Now, I have completed everything in the DLC once, and I did map out this route on another save. So I could show y'all this smoothly without too much, you know, fluff in between and all that. Now, there is a guy that's going to jump down and try to mess me up. I'm just going to run. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is... I actually missed a grace back there because I was just running for this map piece. There's actually a grace we can hit right up here, I believe. Real quick. And then I'll show y'all the first Skadu tree fragment. Now, the Skadu tree, if you're new to the DLC, um, it's the tree in this game. But the fragments, it's the leveling system. If you're familiar with Sekiro, you level up with items in that game instead of, like, souls and runes. And it's the same kind of deal in this DLC. Now, your levels do matter from the base game, but... If you don't have your Skadu tree um, levels up, then you're basically going in like... You're going to feel extremely underleveled against the bosses, even if you're a high level in the base game. And you see here the Shadow Realm Blessings. Now, the Skadu tree Blessings, they level up your character, just in general, everything about them. And then the Spirit Ash Blessings are your summons. Now, we're going to be focusing on doing this with no summons, but if you use summons, then it's going to make things even easier for you. Now, the armor set is actually right here, where you start. It's in this little cave right here, but we're going to do that a bit later. We're going to, because it is kind of a tricky, to fight him with no, it's a little boss, to fight him with no Skadu blessings, it would be a little tricky. So, we're going to wait until we get all the ones that we're going to get, and then fight him. Now, there should be the first one we're going to get over here. It's from this guy. Kill him real quick, and he should drop one. Yeah, there's a few of those Skadu fragments in the game that are just from, like, random glowing pot guys. So, keep an eye out for those guys. I I also recommend Beyond This Guide to look up where the Skadu tree fragments are later in the DLC. Because, to be honest, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, And here's an Ash one, actually. I'm not going to be using summons, but if you are, make sure to pick these up as well. I recommend looking up where all, they are, all of them are because... Just, just being honest, like, it is fun to, like, not look anything up in a playthrough, but in a big open world game where, you know, you could get a level up that could decide if your build is going to be able to comfortably beat a boss or not, just looking over, like, every little side of the map for, like, a glowing pod guy, I feel like that's kind of annoying, so, like, upgrade material I personally looked up on my first playthrough. Everything else I tried to stay away from. Now, we're going to go down here for the next ones. I believe there's actually two down here in this church. And we're actually going to run into kind of a tough enemy. I'm going to try to avoid fighting as much as possible because, like I said, we aren't leveled up at all. Uh, I am a one level 140 character, but it basically doesn't mean much without the Skadu Blessings. So I'm actually going to avoid this guy, just grab the Skadu Fragments there. We actually got two right there. That's very cool. And I'm going to run away until I'm able to actually um, open my map. Now, over there in that area that I'm looking at directly, there's a... Um, there's a Beast Claw NPC, and he just attacks you, he aggros right away. And he drops the Beast Claw, and that's a new cool DLC weapon. Not sure how OP it is or not. Haven't tried it myself, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Most of, Pretty much all these DLC weapons I've tried, y'all, are really good. But I'm going to show y'all one of the best ones that we can get even before the first boss fight. So, um, next we're going to go to our next Skadu Fragment, which is going to be around here. It's going to be at the first Mikula Cross. Now, anytime you see a Mikula cross in the DLC, 
it's going to have a, a side of grace and it's going to have a Scotty fragment. Now, I'm going to avoid fighting these guys. Now, these guys give you, like, a decent amount of souls, I think. And, obviously, they're, you know, an environmental hazard. So, getting rid of them is, you know, convenient. But, to be honest, after fighting, like, four of them on my first playthrough, they get kind of boring to fight. But, if it's your first time playing, maybe you'll want to fight one. You just had to break their legs down until they fall over. And then you can um, do more damage with, like, a repost and stuff. But, anyways, here we are at our first Mikula lacrosse. We get a Scottie Fragment. There's some NPCs if you want to talk to them. Maybe start a quest line. The quest lines are actually something I missed out on in my first run. I only did one full quest line in the DLC. I need to... Maybe after I make this video, I'll use this playthrough to explore those quest lines. But anyways, after we get that first Scottie... Or that uh, third... or Well, fourth, actually. Scottie Fragment. We're going to go to the left of that uh, Grace. Go this way. And then we're going to quickly stumble upon our fourth, or our fifth, Skadu Fragment. Should be in, yeah, you see the Mikula Cross up there. Now for the one we're going to get after that, we're actually going to go into Bellarat. But we're not going to fight the boss, because like I said, we're going to try to get as many Skadu Fragments as we can before fighting the first uh, big boss, the first main boss. But we are going to get the one Scotty Fragment that you can find in there. Now let's see how much we can level up so far. So we can get... So far we can get to... Scotty Fragment... Or Scotty Blessing 3. It's pretty good. A lot of people, they're going into the first couple main bosses. at Scotty Fragment 1. Or Scotty Blessing 1. Scotty Blessing 2. Some people 0 because they ignore, you know, the new mechanic. But we're already at three, and we're going to get a lot higher than that before the first um, the first main boss. Now, I'm going to go in here. There's one in here, and it's kind of, you know, in a secret little spot, but I'm going to show you all how to get there as quick as possible. First, got to open the door. Now, even when I was routing this on my other run, uh, Rolana was still pretty tough, even with the... Um, even with, I got the plus seven. Even with plus seven, she was pretty tough. But it was so much easier than when I was doing it on, like, plus two on my first playthrough. Like, I was stuck on her for hours. I think she took me around five or six tries when I was at Skadu Blessing 7. And I wasn't using the weapon I'm going to show y'all. So that might make it even easier. I am going to do the first two bosses in this video to sh see how I do. The lion boss on my, like routing run I did on stream I actually did first try whereas when I when I did before when I maybe only had one or two uh, Scotty blessing I, it took me like I don't know like 10 15 tries something like that all right so we're gonna hit this grace and now there's this big door we're gonna take a right and then we're gonna take another right just gonna run through not gonna fight unless we have to unless we get body blocked or something Gonna keep running through. There's gonna be these guys shooting at us. Try to avoid that. Guy hit me in the back. Ouch. Ouchie. Alright, now I'm gonna try to get through this door. I might actually get body blocked. Nope. I was able to maneuver. Okay, now I'm gonna run through. This guy's still on me, but it's okay. I'm going to run through here. going to run past this guy. This guy's a pretty tough non-boss enemy. Just going to avoid him for now. I could kill him with Skadu Blessing 3, but... Just going to run through and show y'all where this next fragment is. So keep following my route here. Take a left up here. We're going to go through this door and climb up the ladder. Ouch. Ouchie. I'm going to pick up this item because why not? Ooh, it's actually a key for earlier in the level, which you could explore later on. Now, I believe... Yeah, I believe it's over here. Yeah, so you see this door? Now there's actually rubble here we can jump over. And it's going to lead us into a secret room. Dodge the bug trying to grab you right away. And there's going to be a secret room here. And then a Mikula cross where we can actually grab another Scotty fragment. Now these bugs, they're not going to de-aggro. So I'm going to kill them so I can teleport away. Moonville will be able to take care of those guys pretty easily. Should be a little spider. 
Or no, there's another bug. Should be a little spider to deal with. No? Okay. Well, that's that. We got we got that Skadu fragment. We did, right? That's just a bug drop, right? Yeah, okay. So we got a Skadu fragment. So now we're going to go back right outside of Bellarat, the main gate cross. Now, this is where, like, it's going to get a little trickier, and I might need to make some cuts. And everyone's, you know, attempt at this is going to vary because the weapon we're going to get, which, by the way, very OP, took down the, the hardest boss in the DLC quite easily with it. I've had over 50 plus people saying that it helped them take it down pretty easily. And, um, but it is a drop. It is a drop. So, you know, how long you might take to get it is going to vary from someone else or from me. So we're going to see. My first playthrough, I actually got it just by killing the enemies up here, not even thinking about it. And when my friend told me about the build, I, I already had the weapon. Um, but I've seen other people say they got it in their first kill. I've seen other people say it took them an hour. So it's going to be kind of luck based. I'm not sure what the rarity is on the drop, but we're about to see how my second go around at getting it goes. Now I hit this grace up here. Still got these bats following me. Just take them out real quick. All right, now I'm going to... Now, first of all, so we're going to be making our way to this area. But first of all, there is a, um, if we go farther to the right here, and these are the guys that drop it, actually. See if we can get lucky on the first try here, or maybe just die to him. <laughs> maybe just die. <laughs> um, these are actually the guys that do drop it, so. We're going to need to kill a lot of those guys, or maybe not a lot, we'll see. But there is actually another Skadu fragment up here. It's by, like... It's a, like, graveyard. I think it might even be further ahead. Yeah, it is further ahead, okay? Yeah, it's where there's, like, actually physical gravestones there and not just, like, ghosts. And I believe... Is it this pot guy? I think it is, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember if it was the pot guy or you just picked it up. Yeah. So it is the pot guy. All right, now we're going to start killing these guys. Um, Now, I got it within the little area they're in, not outside. So maybe the guys within the area are more prone to drop it. But we're going to see. We're going to see. If it ends up taking too long, I will probably cut the video to where I get it. Now, here's some more of them. And the weapon we're going to want is actually the one that they're wielding. Ooh, I got a drop there. I wonder if that's it. No. <laughs> it's string. <laughs> Dang, I thought this was going to be like... Dang, I thought that was the magic moment there. <laughs> We were going to get it all in one go like that. That would have been crazy. All right, now let's see. I'll probably cut the video to when I get it. I'll let y'all know how long. Okay, y'all, I actually got it. I actually got it. This guy's trying to kill me, though. So in this, like, this area they're in, you can actually kind of parkour up. I'll show you the way down. And there's, like, six of them. And in the first batch of those six, I didn't even have to go back to the grace. I got it on, like, the fourth kill. Um, This guy is really, like... He wants me dead. He's like, you're not getting that weapon and surviving, bro. Um, so anyways, we ended up getting the weapon. The weapon is... The Blood Fiend's Blood Arm. Now, now this is really important. So, the talismans we're going to be going with with it are the Shard of Alexander. I'm going to be going with the Green Trail Talisman personally. And also, very important, Godfrey's Icon. And very important, the Axe Talisman. Now... For the crystal tiers in the physic, we're going to be going with stone barb crack tier and spike crack tier. The reason we're going with all this stuff is because we're going to prioritize the weapon art, which is going to be lion's claw um, that we're going to switch to, and we're going to be prioritizing the charge R2. Now, you are going to need lion to get lion's claw and the black web blade and all those talismans to optimize the build. Look those up individually if you need to, if you don't already have them on your, on your base game build. Um, they are all base game items. Now, I went ahead and prepared and um, got all the bell bearings so I could fully upgrade the weapon and stuff like that. I got an ancient dragon stone. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fully upgrade this weapon plus 25 it real quick. And I should have a laurel tier to respec to a build that suits it more. So here we go. So now what kind of smithing stones do I need? Now I need a lot of all of them. 
Yeah, I'm actually going to need a lot of all of them, y'all. I might even need to farm. <laughs> I'm going to cut to where I have all the smithing stones I need. Alright, I actually didn't need to farm, y'all. I had enough souls. So yeah, if you get the, the bell bearings for the smithing stones, you'll actually be able to buy all of them at this uh, merchant in the round table. Besides the final one, which is the ancient dragon smithing stone. But go ahead and Google that. Wiki will show you, like, I'm pretty sure there's like 10 in the base game. Maybe a little bit less, but they'll show you how to get them. And also there's a lot in the DLC as well. Now we're going to go ahead and up there, upgrade this weapon fully. Let me go ahead and equip it so it's like right there. No, I actually needed a Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. I thought I had one, I didn't. And I looked up the easiest one to find. It looks like there's one in this giant skull up here. What I did was I went to the Church of Repose by the Fire Giant Fight. And we're going to see if I can grab it real quick. I've actually never grabbed this one before. Um, let's see if I can. It's supposed to be up here. Well, I can get on my horse. What am I doing? Supposed to be in this guy's mouth. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, I actually had to grind for some souls and go get that Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. But now we got this bad boy at plus 25. Now it does scale with Strength and Arcane. But we also want to give it Blood Affinity. So what we're going to do is Ash of War. We're going to add Lion's Claw to it. And Blood Affinity. Now, this weapon has some of the best blood loss buildup in the game. 72 right now. With 8 Arcane, wait until we level up Ar Arcane. So let's go to Renala so we can respec. So we're going to do like a Strength plus Arcane build here with this weapon. I should have a Larval tier. There's a couple things I thought I had for this video that I didn't, so maybe not. We'll see. No. I did. Cool, cool. Now I don't have too many levels to work with. Only 140, so... Well, 131 because I started level 9, so... We're going to get Arcane up to hopefully like 50. Hopefully like 50. Going to get Strength up to... I don't know, around like 48. I want to get Endurance to at least 40. And I want to get Health to like at least 50. Okay. So we're going to down Strength a little bit. Because remember, Strength does get buffed. Uh, you do get uh, a 50% increase on Strength when two-handing. And we're just going to be two-handing, so... Okay, this is fine. 46 uh, health, that's a little low, but we can upgrade that over the course of the DLC. We will be getting a lot of runes. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. And there we go. I don't think you need decks with this weapon. No, we're good. We're good. Only 11 decks, and we're at 15. So keep that in mind. 11 decks is needed. If your starting class is less than that, I didn't think about that. My bad. All right, so we're going to go back to the DLC. Now what we're going to do next is work for some more Skadu Fragments. Let's go ahead and do that. Now the next one, so we're going to... I forget what this grace is called. I'm about to look. Once it gets unloading. It takes a little bit to load into the DLC on PS5. Um, okay. So three path cross. And we're going to take this bridge right here. And that's going to give us the path forward to the next several Skadu Fragments that we can get before we fight the main boss. So we're going to cross this bridge. And when we cross this bridge, we're going to be guys shooting ass and stuff. Going to try to evade that. Now within this, there's like a big camp up here of like Mesmer's army. And within the camp, there's a uh, America statue with its head cut off. And we should be able to get a Skadu fragment right in front of that. Dodging these arrows. Not very good aim from that guy. Okay, yeah, and you see it right there. I'm gonna grab that. Yep. Now I'm gonna hit this grace. Now we actually to get the most of the rest of them, we're actually gonna take a right here. But there is one more we can get before the Rolana fight that we can just run in and grab. All right, y'all. So I actually got killed. I didn't know where to go, and then I got killed. So I'm just scrapping that part of the video. But uh, yeah, we're running across the bridge. It was pretty embarrassing. So. You know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, we're going across this bridge after getting that Skadu fragment from uh, the America statue. And then we're going to run straight up here. Now, what confused me was... Um, so, we're going to take a left here. And then you can go left or right. And I went left. But it's actually right. I'm still a little foggy on the directions in the DLC. Since it is new. But, yeah, we're going to take a right up here. 
And the reason I died is because I was fighting an enemy and this dog, like, came up last second and complicated things. So let me go ahead and take care of this dog real quick before we have to deal with that enemy. So yeah, dog's dead now. Alright, now I should be able to kill this enemy pretty easily. What's that item? Okay, okay. Alright. So yeah, I was fighting this guy and I was doing well and then that dog came in and just complicated things <laughs> and ended up killing me. Should be able to just lion's claw this guy, yep. Get proc bleed on him. Yeah, with this build, you're going to be proc and bleed like crazy, stunning enemies like crazy. It's just bananas. So yeah, we're, we are going to get a uh, message there and then a Skadu fragment right there. That's what we came for. Now, we are actually just going to hit... We're going to tap this Grace, but we're not going to, we're not going to stay here. We're actually going to go back to the castle front uh, Grace, and we're going to take a right from there. And uh, this is going to lead us to the rest of the fragments that we'll be able to get before... We fight one of the main bosses. So in order to get to most of these fragments that we're going to get before, we are going to have to fight a sub-boss named the Ancient Dragon Man. And he's a little tough. He's a little tough. I don't know if he's as tough. He's about as tough as this guy in here. So um, you are going to have to deal with some some uh, difficulty maybe doing this like uh, maximizing before the main boss. But since we're going to be, like, Skadu blessing, like, four or five by the time we get to him with this build, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. You know, watch me say that, and then he destroys me, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, now, we're going this way, right from the castle front, Grace. And we should, yeah, we should see a Mikkel across. I see it already. That's actually not the way we're going to go for the rest of them, but we're going to go grab this one. There is an NPC there. Again, I need to investigate all these quest lines. I'm pretty interested to see how they go. I only... I think there's like several. There's like at least five, I think. And I only did one in my uh, initial playthrough. I was just so focused on exploring the areas, killing all the bosses. I'm not really... Especially in my first playthrough where I'm not looking up a lot. Um, I struggle with doing uh, FromSoft quest lines. Let me know if y'all do as well. Because I feel like it's really hard unless you're like looking up step by step like following their quest lines okay so we got that now we're coming back up here and what we're going to want to do is make our way up here but we're not going up to this platform we're actually veering down through here and then there's actually going to be a cave that is going to contain the ancient dragon man and give us a path down to um down to uh the other areas of the bottom area of the map where we can get more fragments before we ever fight the first boss. Now there is a screaming NPC. We're going to ignore him for now. And we're actually going to fight a um, lesser version of the Ancient Dragon Man. Kind of giving us a taste of what we're going to see right up here. Let me kill this bird so he doesn't interfere. Don't need another situation like with that dog. <laughs> Alright, let me kill him. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to get knocked off my horse, yep. Because there is going to be an invasion of, like, a lesser version of the boss that we're about to have to deal with. So, where's he at? Is he behind me? No? Oh, there he is, okay. Let me go ahead and pop my physic, get that extra stun going. And yeah, here we go. Yeah, Ancient Dragon Man... Now, that's a way easier version of Ancient Dragon Man than the one we're going to fight in the cave. But yeah, y'all saw I was able to steamroll him pretty easily with this build. And also, I could still upgrade my... Um, we've gotten a few fragments since the last time I upgraded. So, let me go ahead and do that once we hit the bonfire in here. So that I'm fully optimized for the Ancient Dragon Man fight. Dragon's Pit, okay. And there might be some other goodies to get in this cave, I'm not really sure. It's kind of an annoying cave because it has, like, reviving enemies. I'm not really sure how to stop them from reviving. Ooh, we're actually able to get to Skadu Blessing 5. So we're going to be looking pretty good for this Ancient Dragon Man fight. Um, okay, so I'm just going to try to speed run through this dungeon. I'm pretty sure I know where to go. So we're going to go straight. I believe we're going to drop down. Yeah. Then we're going to go straight from here. Okay. 
Then we're going to take a right. We're going to take a left. Then we're going to take another left. I'm going to grab this item because why not? I'm going to drop down here. There's going to be enemies. I'm going to dodge them. I think we're going down here. Yep, we are. And then as soon as you get up here, you're actually going to jump off the edge. It's one of those bosses where you jump off the edge, but you don't die. Alright, so... And there's going to be a, a America thing to revive us if we die. Let's see what that item is. I'm going to pop a rune arc. I got Godric's rune, I believe. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to heal. I'm going to pop my physic to get that extra stun. And here we go. Let's see how it goes. Now, he is going to do a blast right away. I'm going to dodge that. Yep. Didn't come out. That was weird. Instantly getting that bleed on him. Ancient Dragon Man's kind of going through right now. Ooh, he could kill me right here, though. All right. Double heal. Now, he does have, like, a one-shot move where he powers up. Yeah, he's doing it right now. Well, if he goes into the dragon form, that actually wouldn't one-shot me, that movie did. Make sure we're dodging these. Gonna Lion's Claw him back up and heal. He's so aggressive. Now, I can't let him get me in the corner, because that's when it's gonna get bad. Oh my god, Ancient Dragon Man, bro. Chill, bro. I'm trying to show these people, these nice people a guide. Now, that's the move, the one-shots, but he's actually, he made a mistake there because he's going to give me time to recover. Ancient Dragon Man actually fucking up right now. Ooh, nice, got the bleed on him. Now, he's going to try to heal, and he's not going to be able to, and that's going to give us a big opening, yep. Ooh, Ancient Dragon Man. Me and Ancient Dragon Man, the classic battle. Right there, and we were able to get him. So he, as you can see, he is kind of tough. Might take you a few attempts, but with this weapon and with uh, five Skadu Blessing, he's pretty easy to take care of. Now, don't take this. Don't take this to the entrance. Actually go through this door. Because if you go through this door, it's actually going to give us access to the bottom portion of the map. And we're going to be able to find some Skadu uh, fragments that we're going to be able to get before we ever fight one of the main bosses. So let's go ahead and hit this grace. I'm actually going to rest at it. Since Ancient Dragon Man did kind of do a number on me there, let's be real. Alright, I'm going to rest. Okay, now... Can I get on my horse yet? Nope. What about now? Okay. Alright, so we're going to go straight here. Now, once we get up here... Um... There's going to be an optional Field Dragon boss... Now, we could either go straight, or we could go to the right. Now, if you go straight, there is a there is a Skadu fragment. But we're actually going to wait and go right first. Because if we go right, we're going to be able to... Um, there's actually more in that direction. And we're going to be able to get the map piece, so we can kind of get a better idea of where we're going. Okay, so... Taking this right turn. And we should come up on an NPC... And that's how we'll know we're going the right way. Well, I'm pretty certain we're going the right way already, but... I'll just double confirm that. Yeah, there should be a giant dead dragon. Yep, there it is. And there's an the NPC there. Now, that NPC... They actually give you an item that will help you against the boss of this area. And also that, like, red mist, it's, uh, it gives you a reward if you beat the boss. But we're not going to talk to that NPC right now. We'll do that way later on in the DLC. That boss is actually, um, I don't know how to describe it. So, I don't want to say, like, second hardest in the DLC, but second highest, like, scaling, right? So, you want to have your blessings at, like, plus 15 or so before you fight that boss, you know? Um, even higher than you would be required against, like, someone like Mesmer. You know, not to say that he's harder than Mesmer, but he's just, like, more in-game scaled, I guess I would say. So, yeah, we're not going to fight that boss anytime soon. We're going to make our way over here. Now, okay, so, 
Now there is... Okay. So we're going to make our way over to the map. First things first, things first, because I'm kind of confused on where the fragments are without being able to look at the map. But once I'm able to look at the map, I'll know exactly where they are. Now, okay. So there should be a place to jump off here to get down to the beach. And it looks like it's right here. Right here, okay. Yeah, we're going to jump down using this thing. Boom, boom. Okay, and then we're going to make our way over to the map piece. Should be right over here. And there, I believe there's like three down here. Like three Skadu fragments down here. And then there's one back in Jagged Peak where we could have went, uh, where we could have went forward after the, um, the Ancient Dragon Man fight. Okay, now we got the map piece. Now I'm going to mark where the, um, the fragments are. So there's one like around here. There's one up here. And then there's one like, I think around like here. It's like here-ish. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go try to find the one around here. Now it is at a Mikula Cross. My, yeah, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that I don't run into a situation where I actually forget where uh, they are. But I'm pretty sure I remember where they are. all are. So we're going to go ahead and hit up this Mikula Cross. Which has a fragment. Now there is another fragment. Now there is like a Remembrance boss with a fragment in his area all the way down here but it's blocked off by a Mikula uh, wall and I don't know at what point that uncovers because I did the first two bosses and it didn't uncover whenever I was routing this run and um, I did that boss really late whenever I did my uh, first playthrough where I did all the bosses so I'm not sure at what point in the game that uncovers but it's definitely not before the first two bosses that's for sure so we're going to try to make our way I'm actually going to because I'm not really sure how to get back up here from where I came. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go back to the NPC. Because one of the uh, fragments is actually higher up from where we jumped off. And I'm not sure how to get back up there easily off the top of my head. So we're going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to see if I can upgrade my Skadu Blessing. Yep, I can. Cool. So, we do actually have to fight, like, a little mini-boss. And, um... I'm feeling pretty confident about it. You know, we got this OP weapon. It's actually not really... Yeah, it is kind of a mini-boss, now that I think about it. It doesn't have a life bar, but it's... It's a really strong non-boss enemy. And it's actually going to drop us a Skadu fragment. Um, okay. So, let's make our way back over there. Oh, yeah, it's this way, this way. There was actually a grace that I should have hit over there that would have helped us out. So I didn't really route this perfectly, but yeah, it's it's going to be okay. So yeah, the Ch Charles Hidden Grave, the little like mini sub boss is going to be up here and it's going to be in that direction. It's going to be a hippo that's going to drop us another fragment. So we're going to run by this guy. Yeah, I should have done this before, ran by this guy and all that because... There's actually a grace up here somewhere. And we could have used that to get back up here easily, but it's all good. Whatever. Um. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's the grace. Yep. There's the grace, and I believe the, the boss is through there. Yeah. I think I'm remembering it right. If I'm not remembering it right, I'll just cut this part out and then show you all the right way. So, go forward. Yeah, so this is the right way. So you go forward. Now, we're not going to go forward here. We're actually going to veer to the left right away. And then you see our waypoint there. So that's going to be near the hippo. I'm not sure if it's at the exact point where he is, but he's definitely around there somewhere. Um, yep, he's right there. Or the rhino, whatever. My bad. All right, he's trying his little bite move. We're going to go ahead and jump, jump over that. Going to go ahead and hopefully not die. He's not the easiest in the world. Um, but with plus, plus six and Lion's Claw, I should be able to maul through him. 
Should be able to get a stun here with the second one. Yep, getting a stun. Now I should be able to get a repost. I actually can't because of, uh... His head was, like, buried in the ground there. Oh, the, yeah, this buy move. If they start that buy move close to you, it's, like, dang near guaranteed. So I just took it, whatever. Gonna heal. Try to get a good dodge off here. Not dodging anything. <laughs> All right. Actually, gonna pop my physic real quick. Then I'm gonna lion's claw. Oh, he <laughs> did me the buy anyways. That was actually the perfect thing he could have done there. All right, let me get another heal. Jump attack. Lion's claw. Yep. Charged R two. And now he's dead. Cool. All right, and he's going to drop a fragment for us. Yep. All right, now the last one we're going to get is over here. It's actually down, so we're going to have to go back to the Coast Cross. I'm not sure how to say that first uh, word. I don't want to sound like an idiot, but uh, yeah, we're going to go there. And there's going to be like a little like cave waterfall area over where I have that um, waypoint. And it will have the last fragment we're going to get. Now, I might cut out me uh, riding to it because, I mean, it's pretty straightforward how you get there. might be kind of boring. Or I might not. We'll see. But, yeah, so after I get this, we, we should be at plus seven Skadu Blessing. And from there, I'm going to fight the, the first main boss and the second main boss to see how I do. I'm pretty interested to see how I do. Because, like I said, I did route this before on stream. And I beat the first main boss first try. Second main boss took me around 10 tries, which was a big improvement, right? Because on my first DLC run, where I was like plus two Skadu Blessing and didn't even really think about it, I um, it took me like 15 tries on the first main boss. It took me about two hours on the uh, second boss, so it was a big improvement. But I didn't have this weapon when I routed it, so we're going to see if I can do it even better. Or maybe even worse. We'll see. But, um... There should be a grace up here. Um, I actually really don't care to hit it, to be honest. If it's like right here when we get around here, then I guess I will. Yeah, I thought there was... A, yeah, the grace is over there. I, I really don't care to hit it, to be honest. Y'all can if you want. But yeah, we're going to go through here, through this little area. And we're going to go straight. And there's going to be a point that we turn left. I think it's like towards the waterfall. Yeah. Towards the cliffside with the waterfall. There should be guys jumping out on us. I guess not. But yeah, this cliffside with the waterfall. We're going to take a left. And then there should be a hole in the wall. On the right. Yep, there it is. And that's going to have a Skadu fragment. Hopefully I don't die to this guy because I didn't hit a um, didn't hit the grates, but it's all good. We did get the fragment, so if I die, it's not a big deal. All right, these guys are gonna prevent me from teleporting, so let me pick them off real quick. Now the one downside of this weapon is the range isn't, isn't the greatest, but it's all good. All right. This guy is evasive. Okay. Now, one one other thing we're going to do is, like I said, there is a guy who has maybe one of the best set, armor sets in the game. It gives you 90 plus poise, which since we're doing stuff like charge R2, it's going to, it might come in handy. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and kill that guy real quick. Um, he is just to the left of this gravesite plane uh, side of grace. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this bonfire. Still call them bonfires for some reason. But yeah. Okay, so we're going to go this way. And then this will be the last step. After I beat this guy, I will go to the first main boss and see how I do. Um. Oh yeah, it's up here. Okay, I thought it was like right there for some reason. Yeah, this guy's armor is pretty crazy. I might not actually use it because... My endurance is only 45, so 
and that's with Godric's rune. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to use any of it without having a heavy load. But yeah, we're going to go in and fight this guy. Going to pop my physic. He is kind of tough. He has a sword attacks and a bow. Well, a crossbow. But I'm going to try to get the jump on him with the jumping attack here. Try to stun him. Even though his armor is crazy, he does stun kind of easily. I'm going to try to lion's claw him a little bit. He is actually kind of tougher than Ancient Dragon Man. I knew he was pretty tough, which is why I recommended that you don't do him right away. That you wait until... Um, look at the bleed procs. Oh my god, y'all. The bleed procs go crazy. Dang, he almost stunlocked me there. No, he does a second attack? Yeah. When he does that like uh, magic slash, he has a second attack. I was ready for that. Should be able to get a bleed proc. Nope. Ready for that second slash? Yep. Second slash? No second slash. Okay. Interesting. Nice. Bleed proc on Lion's Call. That was juicy. Ooh, an opening. Can I get a bleed? Nice. Got a kill. Now, one downside of this weapon is the rolling R1 is actually pretty bad. It's just like that's uh, stabbing to the ground. So you saw off of a rolling attack, I wasn't really attacking him too much. I was waiting until I recovered. Because the R1's decent on it. And also the running R1's really good as well. So yeah, the rolling R1 is probably the one downside to this weapon. Everything else though is amazing. Alright, here we go. Let's see, let's see. No summons, just melee. Let's get it. Oh yeah, he's gonna do that spin a rooney move. Oh, I actually didn't uh, pop my physical. Let me do that. Oh, nice, evaded me. Now this boss is kind of evasive, so... I was able to time that charge bar 2 on this come down there. Really clean fight there. Alright, I'm really interested to see how I do against Rolana. Because, like I said, she took me around 10 tries when I routed this before with um, the Greatsword. But this weapon is, like, OP beyond belief. Not that the Greatsword isn't, but... Alright, let's see. Alright, let's go to Rolana and let's see how I do. Alright, y'all. I actually had a little trouble getting here. There, there were some enemies trying to beat my ass, but... Here we are. Now I'm going to hit this Grace... And I don't know if I have enough to level up. Maybe if I hit a, um, yeah, maybe if I hit a Shadow Realm rune. Maybe I'll have enough. Maybe not. Yeah, so I'll put one into HP. Okay. All right, let's see how I can do. Maybe get a first try even? I don't know. I doubt it. She's been giving me a lot of trouble in my other runs, so we'll see. All right, I'm going to start... We're just running in the Lion's Claw like a psycho. Ooh, it almost didn't land there. That was actually lucky for me. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Alright, I'm going to try to get some distance. 
If you get some distance from her, she does stop doing her uh, her combo moves. Ouch. It's hard to fit in a uh, charged R2 on her, actually. Ow. I tried to dodge uh, forward and to her right. Or to her left, I mean. Or to my left. Which is her right, yeah. Look, like that works out pretty decently. Need to dodge on this. Nice, I'm able to get stunned. The ship proc bleed. Yep, let's go. I'm going to try to get charged R2 in. Now I'm going to actually run a little bit. Because she is going to go ham. Yep, there she goes. Let's see if I can get a heal. Alright, now I'm going to Lion's Claw. Hope for the best. Let's go. Let's go. We still had another Lion's Claw to do there too. So, that was a really clean kill. Let's go. Start out a little sloppy, but... We got our first try, boys. Let's go. Hell yeah. This is going to be the video. Let me know if y'all enjoyed. Let me know if you would like to see me do more stuff like that. Um, later.